Hello, hello everyone. This is Jansen43 back with another video. And is this really our fourth video already in this series? That means we've been trying a new champion every single week for a whole month. So I just want to say thank you to you, of course, because so far it does seem that you're enjoying the series and the feedback you're giving me has been nothing short of awesome. And I've listened to your feedback, so this time we're actually going to switch up the format just a little bit. Don't worry, it's not too different, but I did want to try something just to see if you like it, maybe you don't. Either way, we can always go back, so no biggie. So far, we've done Twitch, we've done Dr. Mundo, and we've done Nunu and Willem. That was last week. Of course, if you haven't seen those, go check out those three. They are in my channel. Three weeks, three different champions, and three different lanes. So the experiment is working. I'm trying new champions. I'm trying different lanes. It's working to perfection. But at some point, we knew we would overlap lanes. Is that going to be this week? Let's go to the wheel. Again, I say, because I'm not dumb, I know how this is, this is anticlimactic because the video art that I put to get you to click this video, it already showed you who we get this week, but I just like you to know it's truly random. So we're gonna keep doing the wheel because I'm gonna keep recording it and I'm gonna keep showing it to you. And besides, I'm so hyped, we get Master Yi. Yes, the jungle master himself. As I'm sure many of you know, a good Yi, especially for people in lower tiers like me, a good Yi can really take over the game and single-handedly carry a team late game. I've seen it time and time again. I've been the victim of this, but this was my chance to try taking over late game. I have used Yi before, but not much, and it's been a while, and I recall my experience being quite up and down, so I was excited to play him consistently for a little while and try to get the hang of it. And if you're trying this channel and enjoying it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content and you don't wanna miss as we continue this series. Thank you so, so much. Now, right back to the video. I told you the format would be a little different this week. One, many of you asked for a full game commentary, so let's give that a shot. And two, I actually had a few really good games, by my standards at least, that I thought would be good to try that format on. Now we started a little shaky with Yi, a 1 and 7 game, and then a 3 and 6, but once we figured him out and figured out some items, we really got on a roll. A 12 and 2 game, and then this 12, 4, and 9 game, and then the game you're about to watch was a 14 kill, 2 death, and 1 assist game. So since this will be longer than usual, let's skip the abilities this week and get straight into the game. Okay, okay, so we start here with Master Yi, and again, I've been looking up kind of the best routes for different junglers, because I know it is different per jungler. So we're gonna start out with a pretty standard run here. We're gonna take the red buff, and just so you know, we will speed through some of these portions. I'm not gonna make you watch a mediocre player play the entire game and all the ins and outs, but I do wanna show you my first run here. So we start off with the red buff, then we go down here to the little rock guys. We take them out, and again, this was based on something that I read online so we're going to take them out for our first and we have our q and our e already up and online it said not to go q e w it actually said go q and then e and then what you're going to do is go q again so that you can make these clears just a little bit quicker so after we get the rock guys here which it always just takes so long we're going to run around and we are going to make our way up to the vultures, which he's pretty good for taking out these types of enemies because, again, he's able to hit multiple enemies at once, which is easy, but for like Nunu and Willump, other than their snowball, there's not much that they can do against these many, many enemies. So that's why really you go like red buff and then vultures, and then you go straight over to the wolves because it takes a long time to clear those rock enemies. So we take out the vultures and then we're gonna make our way, again, pretty standard. We're gonna go over to the wolves next. And as you see, again, I upgraded my Q twice and then I have an E upgrade as well. Haven't done W yet. Uh, so we get here to the wolves. We go ahead and we take them out. And then we're gonna head over to blue buff. Then we'll head over to the big frog guy. And then I think we're gonna head over up and try and get that little crab dude in the river. But we've got the wolves now. So now we're gonna head up to our blue buff, which we still have our smite. So this really isn't an issue. Hit him with a Q. And we wait just a minute till he gets below that 450 threshold. Hit him with 
the smite and then we head over here to the frog guy and again a pretty smooth run so far so we're doing good on time and what I've learned a lot of jungling especially this first route is all about time you want to go really quick so you can either get up to the river hit the crab so you can get the little speed boost or you just want to be able to maybe go over to their camp take something maybe you want to gank maybe you want to go back and buy an item but the faster that you get through this first run the quicker and easier for me at least it has been to kind of take advantage now see here i see there is a volar bear but i see that we are about even level and i say well why not give it a shot um, because i know that i also have smite and i have ignite so slight advantage there and i was able to get the bear and take him out but gangplank is coming so i have to run because i do not want to die this early because again it's all about timing how quick can you stay alive how quick can you go and get those other jungle animals and then how quick can you gank uh, especially early on you just what i have learned so far at least it seems you just don't want to fall behind uh, but I did see an advantage here, so I went ahead and we had 2v1. Gangplank was coming in, but I had enough of a life advantage and I had my Q ready that I was able to take him out. So early on, we are 2-0, which is a great way to start. We have 1,800 gold, as you can see down there. Let's go ahead and work on the Kraken Slayer. That's what I like to start with with Yi. Again, this is all based on like U.GG, I think is what I'm using. So that's just the easiest way for me to keep up with everything uh, and make sure that I am buying the items that I think will at least set me up for success. So 2-0, you can see my other teammates here, a couple assists. And pretty much, I'm just gonna go right back into a jungle clear. And then, I don't know, I'm still not great at jungle and knowing when to go and when not to, but I like to be aggressive with the jungle animals. So you can see me pinging my team there, but I'm gonna go anyway. I'm 2-0, I'm feeling pretty good. So I start attacking the dragon. Volibear Bear comes and he tries to surprise me and he does surprise me. Somehow I do end up winning it even though the dragon is still attacking me and I'm pretty worried that I'm not gonna make it out. I do make it out luckily. Why am I going back? I'm really not sure. I guess collecting these things, uh, I feel like I should probably just pull out pretty quick. Uh, and again, now this voiceover, I don't do this very often, so this might not be the best commentary you've ever heard. Please cut me some slack. Uh, but now I'm 3-0, and and I actually pull away from the dragon because, again, I'm pretty hurt, uh, and I just don't think I have enough juice to get him. And my teammates, despite the ping, did not come and help. I know on the bottom there, they're a little bit backed up, but I just think that there's a lot of value in getting those early on because, again, those little percentages really add up. Um, because later on they're just gonna make a big difference. You have three or four or five percent more health or attack damage or whichever buff they give. That can be really powerful, especially early on in the game. But I have recovered now, so let's go back. Let's give this another shot. Hopefully we don't get attacked again by Volibear. Still, even with full health, very tough for the Yi uh, to get this done, especially early on, because I don't have that 900 smite yet. We do get it done, we get the buff, so that's great news. We're gonna go back into this bush. We're gonna get some vision there. Still need to work on vision as a jungler. I don't think that I ward nearly enough, but it's always a work in progress. Again, I'm just so far ahead, I feel like right now, that I'm taking some risks that I might not normally, like going into the other camp this early. I mean, we're not even at the 10 minute mark, uh, but I just know that this Volibear Bear can't really beat me 1v1 right now. And so let's take him out again. Now we're four and zero, and I'm gonna get this blue buff, which is gonna set us up nicely. We're gonna make a little jungle clear through their camp. So, so far early on, it's going about as well as it ever will, which is why, again, I chose this game to be one that I commentated because this does not happen every game. Um, but this also just shows you how powerful I think Yi can be, especially, again, in lower levels, like this Volibear just keeps coming after me, even though he's not 1-1 yet, he keeps coming at me 1v1, and so I'm going to keep taking advantage if I can. I'm at level seven now, 
Again, we're 4-0. Oh. We're going to make another clear because the way that it's timed out, we've been able to make a few kills, take a kill, and then come and do a jungle clear. So going about as well as it could as of right now, we have more than 2,000 gold. Uh, should probably return pretty soon just to buy a thing or two so we can stay ahead. But yeah, I mean, I can't really ask for much more than this. Now, one thing is I have been trying since I've been playing jungler to work on my map awareness. And so I look down and I see that we have pushed their two bottom people back enough where a gank would be possible. But as I run down there, I see the Volibear again. I cannot believe I chased him this far and I can't believe that he made a right turn there instead of going towards his tower because I undoubtedly would have been dead even earlier than this. What an absolute moron move by me. Why did I chase? I kind of thought I had him when he made that right turn, but then he got smart and decided to go back toward the tower. As a Yi, as really anyone this early, I should know there's no point to chase that. You're 4-0, and oh, and now this just gives them a chance to climb back into the game. Really beat myself up here, but it happens, especially with a new player. Again, I'm on a high. I'm 4-0. and oh, That doesn't happen all the time, so that is why that mistake was made. So after that really dumb move, let's just reset here. Let's go through a normal jungle clear. Again, I'm just trying to stay on pace with everyone, make sure that I'm not falling behind. I know that I'm ahead of the jungler, but I wanna make sure, if I wanna change the game in the late game, I need to make sure that I am staying in line with the top and the bottom as well. I see that we have another beast here that we can take down. Obviously, this can be a game changer as well, release him in the top or the middle or the bottom and he can really make a difference so again knowing that i am ahead of the jungler let's go ahead and take that by ourselves i did have some help coming that time which is always nice i see that now we're going to get ganked and i'm not too worried about it one he's up on him i'm up on that person and then i'm up on the volibear. bear so again we're just really coming into some maybe lucky plays because they're kind of coming to me like i was just going for the animal, the beast there, um, and I had two champions come to me, and I'm ahead of them, and I had some help, and it all just worked out really well. Now that person rotated top, I just wanna make sure middle is covered, so I'm going to head down that way to see what we can see. And listen, we got the Rift Herald for a reason. Let's unleash it down the middle. I like to go middle if I don't really have an advantage on either side. Uh, it just seems like the shortest way and it seems like what other people do. So I let him go middle because top or bottom don't really seem to be making too much of an advance. So we might as well go the shortest way possible. Then let's get right back into another jungle clear. And you can see how much more damage we're doing. We've got some items now uh, and really making ways through the jungle is getting easier and easier as we go. As I said, I've been working on map awareness and lane management and things like that. I'm not great at it yet, but I did see that these two bottom laners were way too pushed under our tower. I could loop around and get them. Volibear does come and try and stop it, and he is a little bit successful because now it's 3v1, which is not the best matchup, uh, but I'm still able to get one. And then are we able to? Yes, we were able to get two, and then Volibear does finally get me. Again, it was 3v1, our bottom was pushed back a little bit, and the reason that those two were obviously under our tower was because they were winning tower, and we had one person recall or die. So maybe not the best gank, but still a trade of two versus one is something I'll always take. So we died, that's unfortunate, but we're still eight and two, which is pretty great. Again, I'm still feeling pretty ahead of where I need to be and where I want to be. So I do another jungle clear, and that's something I've been trying to focus on. You don't always have to chase the kills is what I'm learning as a jungle. Just keep clearing the jungle, keep clearing those animals. You're gonna get the XP, you're gonna stay on pace, and then you can find opportunities like this, where again, they've overcommitted a little too much. I'm able to come down and take one out. I'm gonna bait Volibear here. I cannot believe he's chasing me when he is under two levels and he knows I've killed him. I mean, this has gotta be what, like the sixth time? Uh, so that was pretty surprising, but I'm fine with it. We're now 10 kills, two deaths. And that is something, again, I will always take. Now, one thing I will mention is several of these late E games that I played, the, the 12 kill one and the other 12 kill one, and I think this one too, if we keep watching, they all ended with early surrenders because 
like I said, I know as a lower tier player that if a Yi gets out of hand, there's really nothing I can do, or at least there's nothing I know to do. So if they get out of hand and they're just at 10 and two or 12 and one, it's gonna be really hard to come back from that. And so I think a lot of the teams also realize that. And again, it happened to be me on the winning side this time, which was a nice change of pace. So we've made it clear. We went into the other side, made it clear there. Let's go back, buy another item, stay ahead, and keep pretty much grinding, trying to get kills. But let's just keep clearing those jungles. So we have another item added to our items and our stash. Guess what we're gonna do? You guessed it, we're gonna do another jungle clear because I just don't wanna fall behind. And now this time I'm gonna try and go help top a little bit, see if we can be successful there. Again, maybe not the smartest push, honestly, because he got very close to tower and I know that Yi can be a little squishy, but it paid off. So that is always good news. Now let's go into their territory and see what we can pick up there. And let's go get the Rift Herald again. Once again, we're gonna go straight to middle because they have a turret down now. Unleash it there. Let's do another jungle clear. And could I have been more aggressive, gone into enemy territory a little bit more? Maybe, probably so. You tell me. Again, you're the experts, not me. But let's first just get this dragon, get that buff, and then I just think it's gonna be really hard for the other team to come back at that point. And since I am who I am, and I'm way ahead, I feel, and I got a couple people around me, let's go explore enemy territory. There's three of them. We take out the bear. I take out this other one right here. I get a nice unstoppable, a Rulian soul. He is no match against several, several levels below, still attacking. So there's three kills real quick, 14, two, and one, or maybe it was two and and one assist and I believe that that is the last kill that I get of this game but man what a blast and so at this point I really just want to win the game that is always my goal I love having great games like 14 2 and 1 uh, that's always a wonderful thing but Really, the ultimate goal for me is wins. And so if that means that I'm just gonna keep clearing jungle, that's fine. We got another dragon over there, that's great. Go into enemy territory. But really, whatever I can do to help the team secure the victory is what I'm trying to do. So could I have gotten 16, 18, 20 kills? Maybe. I mean, here I'm being aggressive, I'm playing, and I'm about to try and take out that bear one more time when, guess what? Our team secures the victory, which is all I ever wanted. We get the dub, which is great. Everyone played well, it was a fun game, and playing Yeet was an absolute blast. And I hope you had fun watching this video. Again, I'm no professional when it comes to voiceover and especially commentating this game, but it was a blast. I had a great time, I hope you did as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll probably go back to the other format for next week, but this was a fun experiment and a fun way to do it. If we have a great game next week, we might try something different. But for now, I will leave you and I hope to see you next week.